crap. Much to do. Let us be careful.
she grew as in her mouth they spilled. only kin and clan. I am cruel to myself. You are a dream of stranger spaces and open doors. First day they come and catch everyone. It's what I've seen. What I will become. I force it into verse so it is fantasy. Unreal. That's the only place I can hide. Because they make me. They make me eat. And then, all I could do was wish Laren went first. I wished it upon her so that I would be spared. But I had to watch. I had to see the change. How do you endure that? How did Bronca endure? Do not talk of Bronca, of what she did. Ancestors preserve us. Forgive me. I was her captain, and I didn't stop her. Her lover, and I could not turn her. Forgive her. But no, she cannot be forgiven. Not for what she did. Not for what she has become. This explains a lot. Of course, if I knew she had those interests, I could have made some adjustments. There is too much darkness here. The anvil. It is in the darkness. 
surrounded by it, pulling Branka in. No, I swore not to speak of it, not to think of it. La, 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 la. I will not hear any more about Branka. No, don't leave me here. Don't let them take me. I will not become what I have seen. Not Laren, not Branka. What happened here? Branka has to explain this. She has to.
to mold, to change until you are filled with them. They took Laren. They made her eat the others, our friends. She tore off her husband's face and drank his blood. Welcome back, Grey Warden. Have you found your paragon or just the dust she left? But if you're looking for paragons, you may as well look for the anvil and endless leer. That's all you need to know. In the time.
Grey Wardens endorse paralyzing Orzammar's military. As you say. I shall do it. Ah, you return, Warden. Is there more you would know from Orzammar's memories? Ask, and I shall do my best to answer. All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors, to guide their families forever. But only one every few generations rises to Paragon. A Paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. Branca is a Paragon, now and into death. She was born a smith, but her inventions caught the assembly's eye. Before she had seen twenty years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her Paragon status. We were a great empire once, outnumbering even humans and elves. We traded with your Tevinter Imperium, and our land stretched as far in the deep roads as theirs did above. Cal Shirok was capital then. But we lost too many battles, we lost our golems, and we lost our territory. Now the Empire is simply ruined tunnels filled with darkspawn. At the other side of the old Empire, during the last blight, the kings of Orzammar knew they couldn't hold everything. They sealed the deep roads, abandoning everyone still trapped in far-flung settlements. It was the only way to survive. Cal Shirok is the only other city to outlast the Blight. We only rediscovered them recently, and they still haven't forgiven us. The Paragon Caradon, a smith of unsurpassed genius, invented the Golems. For years they were our weapon against the Darkspawn. One Golem is worth a dozen Dwarves in battle, but Caradon's tide is far into the deep roads. When it fell, we lost his secret to creating Golems. There are books about it along these walls, if you would read more. They are to us what a colony is to surfacers. Please, speak your mind. Your pres- At least someone is willing to stand up for tradition. Thank you again. I'm sorry, you'll have to bother someone else with your questions. I'm quite busy. Please do not disturb me. Excuse me, I can't chat. Are you looking for records of the Grey Wardens? We have many. Ah, you return, Warden. Is there more you... At least someone is willing to stand up for tradition. Thank you again. <laughs> 